Hey, what's going on guys? Jared from AGL Tech, and so you might notice my camera, yes, I'm using my phone camera. Well, that's because my camera keeps on dying with the batteries are still almost fully charged, so I don't know what's going on. My camera says the battery's exhausted and then it turns off, so I'm going to look into that more because I was literally only took a video for like, I recorded for like two minutes and it shut off and I'm like, are you serious? I can't make one video using my camera? Anyway, so... It might be a little while until I get that back up and working, so I'm going to use my phone for now just to get content out. And I don't think my camera on my phone's that bad, so... Anyways, let's get into the tech news. So NVIDIA has finally released... GeForce GTX 1660 Super, and it joins the other four other six-tier cards. NVIDIA's lineup, GTX 1660, the 1660 Ti, and the RTX 2060, and the 2060 Super coming with a nice price tag of $229 US dollars. It's supposed to be a slight upgrade from the vanilla 1660, which retails for $220 US dollars, which the 1660 Ti at 280 US dollar. Also, AMD actually cut the RX 590 prices just before the launch since the new supercard infringes on its territory. And there's supposed to be a 1650 coming soon, so we'll see on that. The prices, I feel like they're not too bad. I kind of feel like they're starting to get a little cheaper. Back when Bitcoin mining was a thing. Oh well, my, it was so much more expensive. Samsung Space Balloon crashed into a Michigan horse. Never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. It's never boring on the Welkie farm. Thank God there's no horses out or it didn't hit the house. And it's still going and flashing. It was a PR stunt meant to send selfies into space. And knowing how the world is, it'll probably be called Spacey's. William CLL on the forum mentions by dropping it from space, they have outdone lions in a spectacular fashion. I wonder what Linus has to say about that. And you might have noticed Google Maps started showing police traps, and unsurprisingly, this has made a couple of police organizations not very happy. The NYPD and the National Sheriff's Association issued some statements saying that this feature at risk of risking speed traps. But speed traps are going to slow people down anyway, so what's the point of trying to listen to the law? So that's it, guys. You know what to do if you like this video. Give it a huge thumbs up. Get subscribed down below. Turn the bell notification icon if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.